Tell me what's new at Hartzell these days. Oh, thanks, Jim. Actually, we've been having a great show, and we were excited about it because we've been working on a lot of projects during the year. But um, a special note this show, we've had some nice propeller introductions on turbine aircraft. There's the Caravan Supervan by Texas Turbines. We did a all-new clean sheet propeller for them, four-blade carbon composite. And that airplane's quite a perform, and the prop is going to be a nice enhancement. We also put a five-blade prop on the Turbine Evolution, which is a very fast airplane. We made it go faster by about four knots. Picked up an important 114 feet a minute in climb and reduced the takeoff rollout because when you throw that five-blade prop in flight idle, it just is a big speed break. We also updated our Caravan three-blade OEM prop that's going on the line at Cessna to have a TKS de-ice option on it. Especially for the fleet guys that are flying cargo pods, the residual fluid coming off the prop blades is very nice for trying to give the airframe a wash as well for anti-ice, so that's good. That's our turbine stuff this show. Really excited about the X-Cub. Clean sheet of paper, getting a lot of coverage. Beautiful performing airplane, and those guys went with our Trailblazer two-bladed composite prop, carbon composite. They had some experience with that in some earlier aircraft, loved the performance and made it the standard on this. They have a nice backlog, so we feel good about that. And then the other thing I'm really excited about, something we've been contemplating for a while, but we have an STC business called Top Prop, where we sell propellers to the direct user, the pilot himself. And we've extended our warranty on all Top Prop STCs to full TBO. And what we're trying to say to guys is, by the time you buy a top prop, generally you've been flying on some OEM propeller for quite a while. You've probably put this off. You were scared of maintenance dollars. And you're just trying to enjoy this great thing we do called flying. So if you buy an STC top prop from us, we got you all the way through TBO. Come on in and do your overhaul, but you're not going to get hit with parts or anything that doesn't make it through overhaul. So hopefully that'll get those guys you know, thinking about maintenance and doing it right and doing it with less fear about the big bill that frankly drives some people out of this business. When a company with either a new project, new airplane, or new configuration comes to you, hey, we've got an X-Cup, we've got an upgraded caravan, what's the process like when you uh, evaluate whether or not, one, you can do what these folks need uh, to do, and also whether or not they're a good match for the, uh, for the partnerships that you engage in? Yeah. Well, you know, it really comes down to can, can we give them performance? And generally speaking, we can do that through our proprietary software code. They give us the howling size, they give us the air blockage that they think they're gonna experience, they give us the design points, and we can pretty quickly tell them whether we think we can put performance into an upgrade option, whether it be blade count or diameter or blade shape. So for example, on the super van, if you see the blade shape on that, because we're using structural composite, it's got a super wide cord and a very thin leading edge, which improved the blade efficiency. So then at that point, if we say, yeah, we can do performance, then it's a question generally of the non-recurring cost to do the program. And in some cases, we absorb all of those. In some cases, we partner. In most cases, we're paying the freight, and you know we just take the long view that we got to be on every platform for every customer. If they want us, we got to be there. My heart was beating. I thought I was confident enough to make a safe flight. The visibility was all changing on me as I was progressing farther along in my flight. It was a wake-up call. I know that the drive made me a better, safer pilot. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under hundred k Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Visit our AirVenture booth 622 in the North Aircraft Display Area. There has to be a phenomenal amount of institutional expertise within Hartzell uh, in regards to propeller technology right now. If you were to look at the state of the art, are we about as good as we're going to get, or is there some place we can go from here that would even raise the bar further? You know, it's interesting. We're going to be 100 years old next year. I've been there about 26 of it. We have guys in the shop that have been there 50 years. So the institutional knowledge is very high, and what the aero guys always tell me is they know what they need to know about aerodynamic efficiency. L over D, these things are established science. But the beauty of what's happening today is more and more integration science where the, the CFD analysis is including the entire system. It used to just be, we knew what our prop could do, 
but we didn't know what the airframe was going to do. So this integrated look at all the way the aircraft performs from tip to tail is a nice piece of improvement. And for example, in the TBM 900, that led to some really impressive performance gains because we designed together from the beginning. The other thing I'd say is probably the big opportunity is to continue to find ways to innovate on construction costs because composite is expensive. Say what you will, it's a lot of chemistry, it's a lot of inputs, and it's a lot of labor. So what I hope we can do is keep taking the advanced aerodynamics that we're already skilled at doing and find ways to do it at an ever more affordable price. That's the horizon for me. The other area where you've really made a name for yourself, I've noticed virtually any major aerobatic performer right now is flying behind Hartzell. That is about the most abusive propeller environment I know of. This has to be a phenomenal testing ground for you to see just how much abuse a prop can take. Well, it's interesting. We are the standard prop of the Red Bull Air Race. That was a really interesting opportunity for us because one, it made sure that every single pilot had no power plant advantage. You know, the engine and the propeller are standard and they're going to take a lot of abuse. We were really excited about that opportunity for a couple reasons. One, it promotes our aerobatic technology. But secondly, that propeller that we have on Red Bull Racing has its pedigree in regional airline service. So you take the shank out of the 1900D and you put it in an aerobatic system, you got a lot of muscle. And so we had this background where we had incredibly proven design with high service regionals and we put it into a little tiny aerobatic package. That's why it's such a tank. Joe Brown from Hartzell, I got to tell you, we've really enjoyed working with you over the last couple of years and especially coming to Oshkosh and spending a little bit of time with you. We thank you for spending time with us on Airborne and Aero TV.